Welcome to the basic cable channel. I've had several requests on uh, connectorizing hardline cable, uh, showing how to core it. Um, so today we're gonna put on some pin connectors, uh, which is essentially like a really big RG11 connector that comes apart. Uh, and we're gonna hook it to a tap. So we're gonna essentially build this location uh, with tap and some connectors and I'll show you how to do uh, hardline coring here. Uh, so the first step is we wanna remove some of this jacket um, we're going to use a knife on this one. I know there's some special tools that you can spin on there that will kind of spiral that off. Um, and some of the coring tools, uh, which you can attach to your drill, some of the fancier ones have a, uh, an extra blade that will take that off for you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that. Um, so we're just going to use a knife. Works really well for me. Um, so let's clean the jacket off here. Just got to be careful not to cut yourself or score the uh, aluminum shielding while you're getting the jacket off. All right, once that's removed, well, the next step is I take my cutters here and I'm just gonna score and break the shielding here about three quarters of an inch of the way down. What this is going to do is just make it easier for my coring tool to get um, a bite on there and help the center conductor get in the center of the uh, coring tool without tearing up anything. And then the next step, I'm going to take the same knife. I'm just going to do a, a, a pyramid cut on four sides to kind of expose that center conductor so it'll, it'll go right into the guide on my coring tool. Clean out all the old debris. Alright, the next step before you go too far is remember to put your shrink on because after you connectorize everything, you won't be able to put this on. Um, and what this does is this kind of seals out all the moisture and everything. Just get that out of the way. And the next step is you want to use a tool that is designed to remove any of the stuck on uh, dielectric material that may be sticking to the side of the center conductor here. So that looks pretty good. Um, our next step take the pen connectors apart. Well, if you guys want to see what the, the cord cable looks like, here's a close-up one I, of, I cut off here. Um, you can see it's it's essentially it's a 75 ohm cable. It's just bigger than the one that you would hook to the back of the TV. Um, it's just proportionately bigger to remain the 75 ohms. Um, it just cords down in there and lets the connector uh, go together and slides up inside there. So. There's, uh, there's cut marks on these connectors. You compare it from there to the bottom of this edge here. Um, that tells you how long the center conductor is. Uh, but this particular connector, as long as you bottom it out all the way, um, you should be able to cut it flush. Um, and I'll show you on there. It gives you a rough idea of what should be sticking up. It shouldn't be very much. Perfect. So these ones, you're going to cut halfway in, turn it 90 degrees, and then cut it all the way. And that's going to give you a diamond cut on the end of your center conductor. Uh, if you just cut it one direction, it can mushroom out the sides. Um, and when it goes up inside this uh, top of the pin connector, it may not go in there and seat properly if it's uh, distorted uh, on two sides. So if you do a diamond cut, it should go in there nice and evenly. The next step is to get the tap ready. We're going to put the tap connections on top here. Take these dust caps off. That will expose the seizure screws. We're going to loosen those up. And all the seizure screw does is uh, once this goes in here, uh, the screw just tightens to it against the side of this. 
um, just, just makes the connection just by tightening in against it. Um, and there's going to be dozens of these kind of connections throughout the plant um, getting to your customer's home. Um, and here it does have a cut mark, so if you put this on here at the bottom of the threads, it tells you how deep it needs to be. Um, as long as you're within, uh, I don't know, about a sixteenth or so of this, uh, this cut mark, you should be good to go. So these ones already have them pre-cut. Them in there, tighten it up. We're going to use a crescent wrench and just snug them up nice and tight so they don't come loose. And then we can tighten our seizure assemblies because the pen connector is never going to spin anymore. So let's get these tight and snugged up so you don't forget and then put the caps on so you don't lose them. And we are going to be done inside there. Alright, um, now you got to know which direction is your input and your output. On your tap, there's actually an arrow, so it shows this is the input and the output. And on the back, same thing, input, output. So this one's my input and this one's my output. So should be good to go. Put it on there. Um, if you hook it up backwards, you'll know because the rest of the taps past you will no longer work. good job and, and core them nice and evenly they do, you can put them on at the same time uh, that doesn't happen very often um, but it's nice when it when it does happen so you're gonna hold the top one and then you're gonna tighten the center the center of the connector here until it's tight and then you're gonna move the top one and then tighten the bottom one it's important that it's done in this order uh, according to manufacturer spec Not 100% sure why, but that's just the way they want it done. Get on there. All right, she's tight there. And we'll tighten this other one. Again, we're going to hold the top one. Maybe. And then tighten the center. the center and then tighten the bottom one. Alright, that one's good to go. Next step, we can pull the shrink up and then you would heat that with some propane evenly all the way around until it shrinks uh, and it will it'll waterproof it um, so it doesn't get some water and corrosion um, in there in the future. So that's how we connectorize a 625 hardline feeder to a tap. Um, it pretty much goes the same for any size feeder, um, not just 625, but that's how we hook it up to the plant. And then we just hook the subscriber's drop up to here and then it goes into the home and gives them service. So. Thanks for watching the Basic Cable channel and uh, stay tuned for the next one.